We're now looking at part B of question 5 of the May 2024 CSET Mathematics paper. It says the attendance officer at a particular school recorded the time t in minutes taken by each student in a group to travel to school. The data collected <coughs> is shown on the cumulative frequency curve below. Okay, so we're seeing it. Using the cumulative frequency curve, find an estimate of 1. The number of students who took at most 32 minutes to travel to school. At most means 32 minutes is the most that they travel to school. Alright, so here what we do, we see that each square here is divided into one, two, three, four, five small squares. So between zero and ten. There are two that are represented by each small square. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Alright? So each of the small square is two units. Now, <coughs> 32 minutes. What you want to do is go to 32. That's here. And you project up. Towards the curve, then you project across. Now, each centimeter on the vertical axis is cumulative frequency axis is representing 20 units, and you have each small square. Now, 20 over 5 is 4. 4 and 4, 4, 2, 8, 4, 3, 12, 4, 16, 4, 5, 20. So, <coughs> you have 40, 44, 48. No, hold on. Each small square, 20, is 4. 4, 8, 4, 3, 12, 4, 4, 16, 4, 5, 20. It's 40. 44, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52. It looks like about 52, you know. So it seems to touch this point here at 52. So an estimate of the number of students who took at most 32 minutes to travel to school is 52. All right, so we have 52 here. Now, let's see what else is there. This was what? This was part one, and then we at part two now. Okay, they want the interquartile range. All right, let's go back to it. Now the interquartile range, let's erase this first. The interquartile range is the middle quarter. The amount between 25% and 75%. Because you have four quartiles of the cumulative frequency curve. You have 0 to 25% is the first quartile. 25 to 50% is the second quartile. 50 to 75% is the third quartile. Then 75 to 100% is the fourth quartile. We want to see what's going on between 25% and 75%. Now, the cumulative frequency curve goes up to 220. What is 25%? 25% is 25 of 220. Cancel down. 5 to 25, 5, 5 to 10, 2. 2 to 2, 1, 2, 11, 11, 55. So, 
40, 44, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56. Alright. Here is about 55. And then 75% we want to identify. So, 75% of 220. We cancel down. 5, 2 into 10. 5, 2 into 22, 11. 5 into 5, 1, 5 into 7 goes one time. And 2, 5 into 25, 5, 15 by 11. Right? <coughs> what is 15? Multiplied by 11. That's for 165. So 165. So here we have 55, then 165. 64, 60, about here. Alright, so here now. What they say again is the interquartile range. Alright? So what we do is we project from the 55 across to the curve and then down. See where that falls? Then from the 165 we project across to the curve and then we project downwards and see where we are. Now, this value seems to be what? About 33 and this value 24 about 54. So the interquartile range will be 54 minus 33 which would be 1, 5 minus 3 would be 2 it's about 21 then all right so the interquartile range will be 21 see that all right now we're going to look at part c in our next video